Hello and welcome back to the Immortal News Family. In today's heartfelt video, we bring to you the latest updates on the passing of some truly remarkable individuals within the last 24 hours. As a part of the Immortal News Family, we are committed to honoring and remembering those who have made a lasting impact in our lives and the world. If this video touches your heart, or if the stories of these extraordinary people have moved you, please show your respect and remembrance by giving this video a thumbs up. Thank you for joining us in this moment of reflection and tribute. Number 10. Ian Amy, better known as Tick from the renowned 1960s ensemble Dave D, Dozy, Beaky, Mick and Tick, passed away at the age of 79. His passing brings an end to an era for a band that left an indelible impression on the British music scene with their unusual moniker, dynamic stage presence, and string of smash singles such as Hold Tight, Bend It, and The Legend of Xanadu. Tick and his bandmates developed a sound that combined freakbeat mod and pop, enjoying major success in the UK and elsewhere despite minimal financial success in the United States. The band, which formed in Salisbury in 1964, grew from local reputation to international acclaim because of their original songs and unforgettable performances. His participation in the band was critical, contributing to their distinct sound that captured listeners at the peak of their popularity. Their music not only topped the charts, but it also sold millions of copies around the world, creating a lasting impact on the music industry. Despite the original group's disbandment in 1973, their music continued to influence and inspire, resulting in several reunions over the years. His musical journey and contributions to the band's history were substantial, and both fans and fellow musicians praised him for his brilliance and dedication to his trade. Musical accomplishments, personal relationships, and the influence he had on people who knew Ian Tick Amy have all been emphasized in tributes to the late musician. His passing is a loss to the music industry, but his accomplishments will be remembered and appreciated ensuring that his legacy continues. Tributes to Ian Tick Amy Number 9. Bing Worthington, the younger brother of the famous musician Snoop Dogg, passed away at the age of 44. Snoop Dogg publicly mourned his loss with a touching tribute on social media, accompanied by a poignant combination of emojis conveying his great sorrow. Although the cause of Bing's passing has not been revealed, the news has clearly left a tremendous empty space in the hearts of his family and the larger community who knew him. Throughout his life he worked closely with Snoop Dogg, first as a roadie and later as tour manager, demonstrating his worth by effort rather than familial ties. His career in music was highlighted by his engagement in a variety of projects, including his band Lifestyle and contributions to the Van Wilder 2 soundtrack. His love of music also drove him to unite dog records with urban heat legends, demonstrating his entrepreneurial energy and dedication to his trade. His legacy is enhanced by his involvement in the making of the first East Sedaz album, on which he wrote the song Be Thankful, demonstrating his talent and garnering the admiration of his contemporaries. His career was defined by himself as blessed, which reflects the beneficial impact he had on others around him. Friends, relatives, and fans have paid tribute, sending messages of love, strength, and sorrow. Tyrese Gibson, Peachy Wimbush Polk, and Burner have all expressed their sorrow and recollections of Bing, emphasizing his colorful spirit and the joy he brought into their lives. As we reflect on Bing Worthington's life and contributions, we remember him as a devoted brother, a gifted artist, and a kind friend. Tributes to Bing Worthington Number 8. Ederlene DeBarge, the beloved gospel singer and matriarch of the famous DeBarge family, passed away at the age of 88. She passed quietly in her sleep at Berkeley Post Acute in Woodland Hills, according to her daughter. While the cause of death has not been officially confirmed, it has been reported that she was unwell and battling dementia. She met Robert DeBarge in 1952, and the following year they married, laying the groundwork for a family that would have a tremendous impact on the music industry. They had 10 children together, 
seven of whom went on to create the Motown Ensemble de Barge, which charmed audiences from 1979 until 1989 with their melodious harmonies and soulful ballads. Despite personal and professional setbacks, including her divorce from Robert in 1974 and the group's eventual disbandment, the DeBarge family's musical legacy endures. Her life and the tale of her family's journey to stardom were detailed in her book, Other Side of the Pain, which provided a glimpse into the joys and hardships behind the scenes. Her second marriage to George Rodriguez in 1980 lasted until her death, giving her ongoing company and support. Her legacy stretches beyond her biological family to the millions of people who have been touched by her and her children's music. She is survived by George, eight children, and numerous grandkids. The DeBarge family's contributions to the music industry continue to resonate, ensuring that Ederlene's legacy is recognized for future generations. Ederlene DeBarge has been remembered not just as a superb vocalist, but also as a loving mother and the driving force behind one of music's most adored families, her energy, courage, and love to her family and faith will be remembered lovingly by everyone who knew her, as well as the countless fans who were inspired by her work. Tributes to Ederlene DeBarge. Number 7. Alec Mills, the legendary cinematographer noted for his outstanding work on the James Bond flicks The Living Daylights and License to Kill, passed away at the age of 91. Mills, a London native, had a lengthy career spanning several decades, during which he served as a camera operator on five previous James Bond films and worked on famous projects such as Return of the Jedi and Death on the Nile. He began his cinematic adventure at an early age, motivated by a deep love of film. His early experiences sneaking into movie theaters lay the framework for a profession that would take him up the ranks of the film industry. From serving in the British Navy to becoming a crucial figure behind the camera, his devotion and expertise led him to take on the post of cinematographer on two of Timothy Dalton's James Bond films, making a lasting mark on the franchise. Aside from his work on legendary films, he was a mentor and instructor, sharing his skills and experiences at the National Film and Television School. He also wrote Shooting 07 and other celluloid exploits, which provides insights into his incredible career and the exploits it entailed. Mills's legacy is defined not only by the films he worked on, but also by the kindness, compassion, and encouragement he showed to those around him. Survived by his wife Susie and a family who supported him throughout his journey, his death symbolizes the end of an era in cinema. His work has had a lasting impression on the world of film, inspiring future generations of filmmakers. The British Society of Cinematographers recognized him as a kind and kind individual, emphasizing his personal influence on those in his field. As we reflect on his contributions to cinema, we are reminded of the beauty and depth he brought to the screen. His legacy will be remembered as a tribute to a life of artistic success and personal integrity. Tributes to Alec Mills, Number 6. Teresa Smith, better known as Queensy Lock the Voice on TikTok, died at the age of 48 following a courageous fight with ovarian cancer. Teresa captivated hearts around the world with her lyrical performances on TikTok, most notably her cover of Billie Eilish's What Was I Made For? Yolundria Rooks, Teresa's daughter, relayed the devastating news, emphasizing the great love and adoration she received from millions of fans, family and friends. Her journey was defined by her remarkable talent and resilience, and she became a source of inspiration for many. Despite her illness, she continued to share her love of music, making a lasting impression on the TikTok community and beyond. Her battle with cancer, which eventually spread to her lungs, revealed her courage and resolve, making her death a terrible loss to all who knew her. She was a dedicated mother and a great advocate of the LGBTQ community, demonstrating love and acceptance via her platform. 
Her family intends to respect her wish to be laid to rest next to her son, Josiah Smith, in Macon, GA, demonstrating the deep link she maintained with her family. The family's need for assistance during this tough time underscores the challenges ahead, notably for Yolundria, who now has the task of caring for her younger siblings. Their appeal for money goes beyond funeral expenditures, with the goal of securing Teresa's children's future. As tributes flow in, Teresa Smith, also known as Queen Zilock the Voice, will be remembered for her enormous influence on music, steadfast courage, and love. Her voice, which touched so many, will continue to reverberate, commemorating her life and the joy she offered to others. Tributes to Teresa Smith. Number 5. Gerard Barré, an acclaimed French actor, passed away at the age of 92. Born in Toulouse on November 2, 1931, Barré's career as an actor began after a childhood filled with a love of jazz and a successful academic career at Toulouse. His transfer to Paris, guided by Camille Ricard, led him to enroll in the course Seaman, where he eventually won the jury prize, paving the way for a successful acting career. He became associated with parts that embodied chivalry and romanticism, bringing to life figures like D'Artagnan, Pardé and Surcouf and Scaramouche. His performances in these swashbuckling adventures and police dramas captivated viewers all over the world, helping the genre achieve global prominence. Aside from these heroic characters, he demonstrated his flexibility in films such as The Witness, where he portrayed a mystery museum curator, and Le Cinema de Papa, where he played a superstar actor. Despite his departure from the spotlight, his contributions to the arts were honored in 2010 when he was named an Officer of the Order of Arts and Letters. His legacy goes beyond his filmography, evoking a bygone era of filmmaking that valued the grandeur of storytelling and the magnetism of its protagonists. His passing in Marbella, Spain, closes a chapter in film history, but his influence will continue to inspire future generations. As we reflect on his life and career, we honor a man who brought beauty, depth, and excitement to the silver screen. Tributes to Gerard Barre. Number 4. Fulton Koikendall a renowned former Atlanta Falcons linebacker nicknamed Captain Crazy, passed away at the age of 70. On Thursday evening, the franchise confirmed his death, signaling the end of an era for Falcons fans and the NFL community. Koikendall, a sixth-round pick in the 1975 NFL Draft, was known for his daring and intense style of play, which frequently involved putting his body on the line with little regard for his own safety. His passion on the field gained him a spot in the hearts of spectators, as well as a nickname that summed up his attitude to the game. His reputation includes his role as a crucial member of the Grits Blitz, the 1977 Falcons defensive squad, known for allowing the fewest points in an NFL season during the Super Bowl era. Despite having his season cut short by a broken arm, his contribution to the team's historic performance left an unforgettable effect. Following a successful career with the Falcons, he spent his final NFL season with the San Francisco 49ers in 1985, leaving a legacy of passion, determination, and the spirit of the game. His wild old-school playstyle, as well as his role in one of the NFL's most dominant defensive groups, will be etched into his legacy. As we say goodbye to Captain Crazy, we remember a career marked by courageous play and a passion for the game that has inspired countless others. Tributes to Fulton Kukendall. Number 3. Kavita Chaudhari, India's famed actress and symbol of female empowerment, passed away at the age of 67 after suffering a heart attack. 
best known for her portrayal of IPS officer Kalyani Singh in the revolutionary television series Udaan. Her legacy extends beyond her performances to her influence on cultural conceptions of women in leadership positions. Her portrayal of Lalita Ji in the surf advertisements solidified her reputation as a cultural icon, personifying the sophisticated and discerning Indian housewife. Her career in the arts was defined by her commitment to presenting strong female characters, which demonstrates her conviction in women's empowerment. Her sister, Kanchan Chaudhari Bhattacharya, one of India's first female IPS officers, inspired the story of Udaan, which she also wrote and directed. The series was a source of inspiration for innumerable women, pushing them to pursue their aspirations despite the odds. Her contributions to Indian television, as well as her status as a pioneer in media representation for women, have left an unforgettable impression. Friends and colleagues recall Chaudhary as much more than just an actor. She was a mentor, a leader, and a visionary who utilized her position to question cultural conventions and encourage change. In her senior years, while battling health issues, her spirit remained unbroken, inspiring people around her with her resilience and determination. Many people have felt a vacuum in their hearts since her death, but her legacy of empowerment and courage will go on for future generations. While we grieve her passing, we also celebrate her life and the roads she established for the women who followed in her footsteps. Tributes to Kavita Chaudhari Number 2. Ferenc Pavlix, the Hungarian-born American mechanical engineer who helped create the Apollo lunar rover, passed away at the age of 96. His upbringing in Hungary provided the groundwork for a career that would eventually leave a permanent effect on space exploration history. After surviving a serious illness at the age of six and finishing his education, he immigrated to the United States following the 1956 Hungarian Revolution, where his innovative spirit found a new home. His work at General Motors and later at NASA and Boeing helped to create the Lunar Roving Vehicle, a technical marvel that accompanied Apollo missions 15, 16, and 17 to the moon. His design, which included a lightweight frame and individual wheel motors, allowed astronauts to navigate the lunar surface, significantly expanding their exploratory potential. Pavlix received a distinguished NASA award in 1971 for the success of these missions and the rover's performance, recognizing his contributions to the Apollo program's accomplishment. Aside from his work on the Apollo missions, he helped to build hybrid and fuel cell-powered vehicles, as well as Santa Barbara's electric bus network, demonstrating his dedication to improving transportation technologies on Earth and beyond. His legacy lives on not only in the history of space exploration, but also in the hearts of people who were inspired by his commitment to pushing the frontiers of what is possible. Tributes to Ferenc Pavlix Today's top headlines. News 1. Alexei Navalny, a vocal critic of Vladimir Putin, has died under suspicious circumstances in a penal colony in Russia's Arctic region. Navalny, 47, was serving a sentence in the facility known as Polar Wolf at the time of his death. His passing marks yet another instance in a series of unfortunate events befalling opponents of the Russian leadership. Previously, Navalny survived an assassination attempt by poisoning with a nerve agent called Novichok. Despite the risks, he returned to Russia after recovering in Berlin, only to be incarcerated. His death raises serious concerns and echoes the fates of other critics who have mysteriously died or been targeted. Navalny's commitment to challenging corruption and his untimely demise underscore the dangers faced by those opposing Putin's regime. News 2. Scott George, an Osage Nation member and housing director for Native Americans in Oklahoma, earned an Oscar nomination for his song, Wazaja, A Song for My People, from Killers of the Flower Moon. The nomination has sparked widespread excitement within the Osage Nation. George, who has spent decades performing Osage ceremonial dances, 
collaborated with Martin Scorsese on the film, which explores the tragic history of the Osage people. The song's nomination is a historic achievement for the Osage Nation, reflecting a significant recognition of indigenous music and culture. And culture. News. 4. In a touching update from Emmerdale, fans received news on Zach Dingle's condition amidst mourning the loss of Steve Halliwell, the beloved actor who brought Zach to life. Halliwell's passing last year left a void in the show and the hearts of its viewers. Recently, it was revealed on screen that Zach, grappling with a back injury, was unable to attend Belle's wedding, adding a layer of realism to his absence. This storyline development has sparked speculation about how the show will honor both Zach and Halliwell's legacies. Tributes from cast members and heartfelt statements from ITV and Halliwell's family have underscored the profound impact of his loss, celebrating a life rich in laughter and love. News 5. Michael Sarah disclosed that he almost died during a challenging fight scene, initially planned with Ben Affleck. Affleck's unexpected departure from the cameo due to scheduling conflicts with another project led to a last-minute change, thrusting Sarah into a physically demanding role amid recovery from COVID-19. The incident, shared on the Happy Sad Confused podcast, highlights the unforeseen hazards of filmmaking. Despite this scare, Barbie soared to critical and commercial success, directed by Greta Gerwig. It's now contending for eight Academy Awards, although it sparked debate over notable Oscar snubs. Ryan Gosling and Margot Robbie have publicly praised Gerwig and Robbie's pivotal roles in the film's achievements, emphasizing the collaborative spirit behind its historic impact. Number one, Jacques Duval, an iconic figure in Canadian journalism, automobile writing and racing, passed away at the age of 89. His career was a rich tapestry that encompassed many elements of journalism and motorsports, leaving an enduring influence on both. Duval began his career in 1952 as an announcer for CKCV in Quebec City and CINF in Montreal, quickly becoming a known voice in Canadian media. However, it was his love of autos that truly characterized his legacy. He developed La Guida de l'Auto in 1967, a yearly almanac that became an authoritative source for both automotive aficionados and customers, and he served as editor-in-chief until 2003. His experience and insights assisted countless individuals in making vehicle decisions, demonstrating his extensive understanding and passion for automobiles. He was not limited to the written word. He also made his impact on the racetrack, becoming the first Canadian to compete in the 24 Hours of Daytona in 1971. His victory in the first Grand Prix de Trois-Rivières solidified his reputation as a formidable racer and a pioneer in Canadian motorsport. Aside from track and journalism, he was a strong supporter for car recycling, collaborating with the Kidney Foundation of Canada's Autorene program. His dedication to sustainability and the well-being of his community exemplified his character and desire to make a difference. His contributions to journalism, racing, and automotive culture have left an undeniable mark, with colleagues and fans remembering him for his passion, expertise, and dedication. Tributes to Jacques Duval have highlighted not only his professional accomplishments, but also his role as a mentor and inspiration to many. Tributes to Jacques Duval.